So today's topic of discussion is a relative clause. That is chapter number 15 and page number I'll soon show that one. So first what is provided? Underline the pronouns which relate to the nouns that come before them. So you'll be you'll be having a pronoun and what you'll have? You'll have a noun that comes before them. Just like this one you can see I'm encircling the nouns here. She liked the dress that I had gifted her. You can see the term that written here. Second also you can see we went to their house that has been newly built. So here I am encircling that again. The man whose hand was injured had been admitted to the hospital. So here I am encircling the term whose. My book which you returned last week is missing. So here I am encircling the term which. Her aunt, who is the headmistress of our school, is very strict. Further, I am going to underline the remaining one, last one. The clock, which broke yesterday, has been repaired. So, all these things which I encircled are the pronouns. Now, let us have a look at the nouns. Now, if we look at these sentences carefully, we will have every time a noun before this pronoun. You can see dress, house. We have man, we have book, we have aunt, and we have the clock. So, as per the definition, what is provided? Underline the pronoun, underline the pronoun which relate to the noun that come before them. Now, if you look at the she liked the dress. That is one part of the sentence, independent part, that I had gifted her. So this one you can say, this is the relative part. So that I had gifted her, it starts with the relative pronoun that, so this will be called relative clause. And you can see the term days is the noun and that is getting related to the next part with the use of that. Similarly in the second one, the noun house, that is getting related to the second part using the pronoun <coughs> that. The man, man is obviously noun, getting related to the next part with the use of that. Whose hand was injured? So the man has been admitted to the hospital. You can see this is the main clause and remaining one is the relative clause. My book, which you returned last week, is missing. Now you can see the book, the term is noun and which, that is the relative pronoun. So this way we can make one primary understanding of this chapter. <laughs> the pronoun that uh, you have identified are all relative pronouns. What are relative pronouns? Relative pronouns join two or more clauses. A clause that begins with a relative pronoun is a relative clause. So that part of the sentence begins with a relative pronoun is called relative clause. This clause is a part of sentence and cannot exit independently. So this is dependent clause. It describes the noun that comes before it in the main part of the sentence. So no need to memorize the definition. Try to understand this one by going through the examples. I will always tell you to avoid definition. Instead learn this grammatical part using examples. Underline the relative clauses in the sentence from the previous exercise. She liked the dress that I gifted her. Now you can see that, that is a relative uh, pronoun and the part of the sentence start that I had gifted her, that should be the relative clause. We went to their house that had been newly linked. So you can see easily you can underline this thing. The man whose hand was injured had been admitted to the hospital. Whose hand was injured? Got it. Now next we move. This is page number 121. My book which you returned last week is missing. So which you returned last week that is the uh, relative clause and my book is missing that is the main clause. Now next one who is the headmistress of our school which broke yesterday. These are all relative clauses. These just come, this relative clause just come after the noun and secondarily it relates the noun to the remaining part of the sentence. <coughs> the relative clause in each sentence begin with a wrong relative pronoun. 
identify it and mention the correct relative pronoun so what is there the relative clause in each of these sentences what happens to them they begin with the wrong relative pronoun now what do you have to do you have to identify the error and mention the correct relative pronoun the money you gave me is spent already second one she is the professor which is our new neighbor so in this sentences what we have to do first we have to go through or understand which are the pronouns used first one as you can see the wrong used here is who second one you can see which third one you can see where then you will find the term who and the next one we have which next one we have which further we have who so all these things should get changed we have to use the proper one first one the money who you gave me so instead of who better to write that you gave me she is the professor who is our new neighbor here we are not changing the uh, arrangement of the sentence instead we are doing what we are just going through the errors have you received the mail where i sent you in the morning it should be which or that you can use which or that i always eat for lunch who i like best instead of who you should like what i like the best she called the child which had gifted the flower it should be who there is always some hope who can cheer us up that can cheer us so these are the errors mentioned here in these sentences and what we have to do we have to identify the errors same sentence or same type of question you will get you may get in exam error correction now next one what is provided you will have uh, two sentences and you have to join these sentences using suitable relative pronouns that means relative clause will be formed the cat caught the mouse it was running around the house okay the cat caught the mouse instead of eat i am writing i am changing eat with which was running around the house second one here are your books i found them on the table here are your books then here it is written full stop then it is given found them on the table so here instead of full stop i can write that i found on the table or you can also write uh, i comma here are your books comma i found that on the table instead better to write that i found on the table i know the lady she is the new coach of the football team i know the lady instead of she i'll write who hope you can do the remaining exercises that is provided here so i want that 5 6 and 7 and that side uh, this 8 you should try by your own if you face problem kindly let me know now it is written we can omit the relative pronoun when it is the object of the verb so let us go through the examples i want the pen that you brought yesterday now you can see pen is the object of the verb want okay and what is written that that means the pen only that means the object i want the pen you brought yesterday so you can easily see uh, relative pronouns is omitted try to understand this one once more what is written i want the pen so pen is the object of the verb then it is written that you brought yesterday you can see that is replacing the term pain that means that gets uh, that the term changes into what into the object of the verb second one she gave me the same bucket which you had given her bucket is the object of the verb and here it is which you had given her which means which one which means the bucket so here bucket is the object of the verb and same way which is the object of the verb so i can replace she gave me the same bucket you gave, had given her <coughs> we cannot omit relative pronoun when they are the subject of the verb 
दे वर द वन हु हेल्प अस नाउ दे सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द वर्ड नाउ हु इज मीन दिस पीपल दे सो यू कैन नॉट ओमिट दैट जस्ट लाइक दिस इज द फेस दिस इज द फास्ट दैट लुक्स ब्यूटिफुल सो यू कैन सी दीज एंड फास्ट दीज आर द but this is the subject of the verb and you can see that means the this okay so you cannot change this thing note that in this sentences the relative pronouns are the subject since we cannot change them it is impossible to change them next it is provided however in certain cases we can omit the relative pronoun even if it is the subject of the verb note that in such cases relative pronouns is accompanied by the verb be and any of the following an adjective phrase the man the man who was carrying an umbrella is my uncle so here i can use the term who that means the relative pronoun the man carrying an umbrella is my uncle the flower that are in the verse are not fresh the flower in the verse are not fresh a person who has been robbed is always more careful a person robbed is always careful you can see every time what is done that relative pronoun or the relative clause is omitted now look a person who a person is the subject at the same time who is also the subject now you can see though relative clause is the subject yet it is omitted a present participle in continuous form people who are living in this town are mostly minors people living in the town instead of writing who are living so here few examples are provided so that we can do this one by our own <clears throat> first one what is written is the girl who was dancing on the stage looked frightened the girl dancing on the stage looked frightened you need to return the books that i lent you so you need to return the books that i lent you need to return the lent books i cannot find the files that i kept on the table this one i cannot find the table kept on the table i cannot find the files kept on the table no need to use the relative pronoun those were the mangoes which were rotten so you can write those mangoes were rotten now remaining 5 6 7 and 8 i want that you should try at least in case you cannot do you i will get the help so you can see work in pair okay this one you can avoid this part of this chapter but these remaining four you should try as homework thank you